This video was created by Vinyl Lake Puma of Vinyl Lake Puma Gaming. What's going on everybody? This is Vinyl Lake Puma and today I am here to show you how to input console commands or enable the console on the PC version of Borderlands the pre-sequel. Uh, now, for those that have uh, done this on previous Borderlands games, particularly Borderlands 2, um, it's actually the same thing. So I'll go ahead and I'll walk you guys through it. What you're going to want to do, uh, no, we don't want to be here. You're going to want to go to computer. Uh, you're going to want to go to the hard drive that Borderlands the pre-sequel is on. Uh, go to program files, x86. Uh, you're going to want to go to the Steam folder. From here, you're going to want to go to Steam apps. Whoa. You're going to want to go to common, Borderlands pre-sequel, Willow game, config and you're going to have a series of input or I'm sorry a series of configuration files here what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to default input um, now I already have this in here uh, and basically you're just going to put console key equals tilde type key equals backlash and then, of course, if you are looking at this for the first time, it's going to say manual autocomplete list, and then it'll just have some text here. When I first did this, I actually removed this, and it um, it didn't necessarily destroy my game or anything, but it made it act kind of weird. So uh, just go ahead and leave this in here. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll put this in the description of my video so you can go down there look and just simply copy the and paste this in and it'll work um, but anyway uh, that's all you really have to do and in the next part of the video we'll go over some of the um, specific commands that you can do all right guys and welcome back uh, what I'm going to be showing you all now are some of the console commands in Borderlands the pre-sequel. Um, a lot of them are similar to Borderlands 2, as I mentioned earlier. So we'll go ahead and show you some of those. Now, to pull up the console, you're just going to hit tilde, and it brings this up. Uh, now, if you see there, I typed in FOV120. This allows you to change the FOV of the game uh, and basically bypasses that crummy... Uh, FOV slider. So what you're going to do, let's say you want to emulate consoles, you can put FOV of 70 and you'll get what it looks like uh, on the console versions of the game. As you can see here, um, our viewing angles are dramatically de decreased. Uh, and then of course there's the standard PC, which is, or the maximum, which is 110. There's also 120, which is what I like. Um, I like to be able to see really wide area. You can also do some crazy stuff, like you can make an FOV of one um, that has some that makes the game unplayable. <laughs> uh, and you can also go the other extreme where you can see like sideways and stuff. It's really kind of trippy. Like you see there, that's where we're looking, but you're also seeing to like both, you're seeing like on what's either on either side of you at the same time. Anyway, it's a really trippy effect. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change this back so I don't break my brain or something. Anyway, so that's that. What you can also do is you can do some things like a stat FPS which will show you the uh, current FPS you're getting. Uh, obviously, I'm getting 30 FPS because I am recording this uh, for YouTube. Uh, so normally, if you are on a PC, you're running it without a recording program, uh, this is going to be much higher. Another thing you can also do, which is really useful, is you can toggle the HUD, which allows you to take really cool screenshots. For example, let's say you have a really cool area you want to take a picture of. Uh, you can just go over here. And uh, now with no HUD, uh, you can basically take really cool pictures. You can get a really good idea of the landscape of some of these levels. Um, you can kind of get a more, uh, I guess, cinematic 
um, experience. Also, if you really wanted to, you could try playing the game on like a quasi ranger mode where you never know when you need to reload. And that's also pretty cool. You could also do that. But anyway, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. Uh, if you did like this video, found it helpful, uh, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, really helps me out. Otherwise, I'll see you all later. Take care and have a good one.